The purpose of this lesson is to understand and find a measure for human growth. Growth in young children especially needs to be tracked. The outcomes, you must be able to understand and use growth charts in order to determine if a child is healthy or not. Children grow taller all the time and at different times. Growth is not always consistent. We therefore cannot use a single formula to determine the weight status of a child. And the weight status will be able to tell us how healthy the child is. So we need to make use of a BMI figure and a growth chart to see if the child is developing according to its milestones. The first thing we need to do is make sense of the growth chart. So this is a smaller version of the growth chart that we're going to have a look at. The first thing we need to see is at the bottom here, we have the ages. So this ranges from two years to 20 years. At the clinic, so if a child is younger than two years, there's another special growth chart that the clinic sisters use and that gets tracked more often than every year and in fact it's every week when babies are just born and then um, monthly and then so the time stretches. By 20 we should have reached our maximum growth spurt. Okay, so that's the age in years. And then at the side, we have the vertical axis, which shows the BMI. Now, if you can remember, BMI was measured in kilograms per meter squared. And depending on what your BMI is, that would determine your weight status. And from the weight status, the doctor can tell you whether you are eating properly or you're developing properly. So let's go and have a look at the growth chart. Well, you will see, obviously, there are different ones for girls than there are for, from, for boys because we develop differently to what the boys do. So this growth chart is from girls age 2 to 20. If we look at our growth chart, you can see we've seen this before and these colored lines are all the percentiles. So we have eight curves and those are eight percentiles. This one is the 95th percentile, the 90th, 85, 75, 50, 25, 10 and 5. So if you remember, 50% is average. So when we deal with statistics, 50% is the average, and that is the average percentile. Okay, so let's have a look at what has been given to us here, and you will see that in the diagram, they have marked this red dot over here. Now, what is that? Well, they are saying a 10-year-old with a BMI of 20 is on the 85th percentile. So, let's just have a look at it without, without the highlighted lines. So, this child is 10 years old. This girl is 10 years old. She has a BMI of 20, so we have to draw the two lines and where they meet, that is the percentile that she is on. So she's on the 85th percentile, which means 85% of 10-year-olds with 20, uh, a 20 BMI are the same as her. It also means that there are, so if this is on the 85th percentile, it means that 85% of girls, 10 years old, have a lower BMI than what she does. And it also means that 15% 
of the girls that are 10 years old have a BMI greater than hers or higher than hers. So is she average? No. In fact, she is above average because your average BMI is here. So the average 10-year-old should have a BMI of between 16 and 17. Now that we're looking at that, I want you to have a look at the scale on the side. Remember, before you can read any graph, you have to be able to understand the scale. So it doesn't matter where we are on the graph. So let's take from 20 to 21 over here. So 20 to 21, this interval. And we can see if I go and count these divisions, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five divisions, which means one BMI unit is divided into five. So if I take one divided by five, I'm going to get 0, 0,2, which means this is 200 or 0 0.2. So I would have, so the first one would be 20, 2, 20, 4, 20, 6, 20, 8, and then 21. So that is how you work out the scale. Let's go back and look at a few more questions. Right. If I have a BMI of 25, so this person has a BMI of 25, this girl, and is on the 90th percentile, how old is she? Okay, so the BMI is 25. So I will go along this line. You are then told that this girl is on the 90th percentile, which is the blue mark, and where those two meet. So 25 and 90. Let me just rub this out a bit so now we can see better. So 25 and the 90th percentile is there, I would then drop a line straight down and it is in between, in the middle of 14 and 15, so this girl is 14 and a half years old. Her BMI is greater than average, so this child is probably overweight. I could also ask you, um, what would the average nine-year-old, what would the average nine-year-old's BMI be? So I would go along till I get to the average, which is the green. So an average nine-year-old's BMI should be 16. And remember the BMI formula was um, mass in kilograms over height squared.